All right, hopper dropper time on the Deschutes. Salmon flies are just now starting to pop off, and my favorite way to do the hopper dropper is to take one of these little tungsten jig um, pulling mill hooks and tie a little jig fly on there. And instead of tying it off to the bend of the hook, I'll split the wings on the chubby and kind of weave the mono through the legs. and about 18 inches and tie it right in the middle of the fly. We got way too much here. And cinch it down. Now, we're hanging directly below our dry fly, and the chubbies, you can do it with the lighter dropper on like a Norm Woods or something, but the chubby floats these tungsten beads a lot better. And so this way now we've got a true 90, our fly will be hanging directly below, and it fouls less and they don't knock your chubby out of the way if they come to the rear and come up this way to eat it. They don't move your fly. So my favorite way to do it seems to be really effective and I actually uh, learned it from an evening hatch guide named CJ. Uh, not my idea, but he's the, the phenom trout guide. Um, and so I stole it and sharing it with you. Thanks.